But check this out. This shit looks hard AF. <laughs> Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be changing out the DRLs on my Icon headlights from my BMW F80 M3 from the white to the yellow. Some of you guys have seen this going around on Instagram of people changing out their like halos or their Icon headlights, whether it be in like the G80 or G82s or the F80 platform. Shout out to Dubs, Lucas. He actually put me onto these and sent me the link to get them. You guys have probably seen his car on Instagram with the yellow Icon headlights and they look super good on his car. So I hit him up, asked him where he got them and he sent me the link. I'm super excited to see what they look like. I mean, yellow is definitely not for everybody, but this is super cool. And I think on my murdered out car, it'll look super good. The yellow comes from like the M4 CSL or the, I think the M5 CS has yellow headlights as well. So this is kind of, you know, resembling that in the F80 platform or they have it for the G8X as well. But again, shout out to Dubsess. He has helped me out a lot with my Icon headlights throughout the whole process. If you haven't followed Lucas already, which I doubt any of you guys aren't, make sure you guys follow him on Instagram. But as always, thank you guys for clicking on this video. We actually just hit 7,000 subscribers, so. I'm super grateful. Thank you to everybody who's supporting and all the subscribers and new. We're only gonna keep pushing out content from here on out. So I appreciate everybody who's watching. Mad respect to you. But I hope you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you guys drop a like, comment down below, subscribe for future content, hit the bell notification, follow me on Instagram. You guys see the Dolphins game right here. We're gonna do some DIYs in the garage today while watching football. For me, there's no better way to spend a Sunday afternoon than watching football and doing some DIYs for my F80. So now let's really get into this video. Hey YouTube, just interrupting today's video to bring you guys a message from our channel sponsor and that's simply Carbon Fiber. So just as their name mentions it, they have a bunch of Carbon Fiber products just like my phone case right here from my iPhone 12. You guys can see the carbon strut brace on my F80 is a two by two weave and it literally blends right in with my phone case from Simply Carbon Fiber. Absolutely love this thing, never leaves my phone. They have wallets, watches, and other jewelry and accessories like sunglasses. They actually just surpassed their eighth anniversary and luckily for you guys, they're actually extending their sale until October 20th. So you'll actually get 30% off your order if you use the code that is on the screen now. So here's Shout out to Simply Carbon Fiber for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into this one. So right here is a DRL module. You guys will have this if you guys have the adaptive LED headlights or any type of headlights from BMW. This controls basically like your angel eyes or in my case, the uh, icon headlight ring. This is what makes it white and super bright. And you know, if anything ever was to go out, this is probably one of the first things that you would replace. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be replacing this board right here and we're going to be changing them out to these right here, which are yellow or lemon yellow to be specific. So yeah, this should be a pretty straightforward process. The only thing that we have to do is remove this board off of this metal backing right here. And I've already done so with my other DRL module. As you guys can see, this actually went right here on this plate right here. And so I asked Dubsess how he removed it. And he said he had like a scalpel and like a little hammer. And then he just kind of chiseled it in and then the, the plate eventually falls off. The actual board is held on by like this paste right here. It's a heat sink plaster or thermal paste is another name for it. But if you guys are familiar with like computers or building computers or how computers are put together, all of like the motherboards and like TPUs are put on with this paste, like adhesive, but for computers and like chips like this. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I picked this one up from Best Buy cause I couldn't find any at Lowe's. It is Corsair TM30 thermal paste. Or if you guys are more patient than I am, you guys can order it off of Amazon. So yeah, I've already gotten this one off as an experiment off camera just to make sure I do this video correctly for you guys. What really worked for me are these two tools right here. My handy dandy pick tool with a very, very skinny flathead attachment. You guys can see that. And then when it was lodged in there, I just lightly tapped on it with the hammer right here. So yeah, that is what has worked for me. And then once the front of the backing plate, you know, lifts up, the whole thing kind of just like falls off anyway. And obviously 
you know, it's damaged now. I'm not going to be using these, but that's okay. I already have white modules in my car right now. So if I ever did want to go back to white, I just, you know, flip out the modules. So luckily for me, I had a spare set of modules laying around. So that's why, you know, I'm doing this today. So if you guys are looking to do this, you guys probably want to order another set of these modules from BMW or any of the uh, popular resale sites. You can get a brand new one OEM for around like 120, I think each. We're going to continue taking off the uh, LED board right here. You guys can see I already got started. It's kind of coming off. It's not going to take much more. So to show you guys what I did, instead of hammering it on like a table, you want something hard, but like nothing that will damage anything. So I use my horse stall mats on my garage gym, let it lay flat, and then I put the little pick tool right here and then hammered it. And then I ended up using the uh, scalpel actually to clean up all of the uh, thermal paste, the other residue off of the other side. And you guys can see right here, it is straight metal. There's a little bit of paste left, but you can clean that up with uh, some isopropyl alcohol and then make sure you guys have a clean surface afterwards. I'm going to put my pick tool right in the corner right there and then I'm going to hammer away right here at the tip. Super easy. <laughs> Again, the putty isn't really that strong. It's just getting it initially off. So you need like a little hammer and again, a little pick tool or a little scalpel. And so now what I'm gonna be doing is cleaning off this surface with the uh, metal scalpel that I have. You just have to do a couple passes and take your time, of course. But already, most of the putty has already come off. Just wanna give it a nice tap or shake. And then you'll see what areas you need to work on next. But yeah, this stuff does come off pretty easy, as you guys see right there. And then I'm gonna get a paper towel with some isopropyl on it and clean it off. So this is again, a close up of what the new yellow, lemon yellow color boards look like, modules, whatever they are. <laughs> I looked at both packages and I didn't really notice a clear distinction which one is for the left side or which one is for the right side. So I think it's pretty universal as long as you install them correctly in the right positioning, they should work correctly. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get these other modules off of the other side, clean it up, get it ready, and then we're going to install the yellow boards right here. From videos that I've seen, they say a little goes a long way. So over here on the smaller side of the module, I think I'll do a small thin line right here. And then same over here, I'm probably gonna do a line right over the middle, a very skinny small line, and then maybe a dot and a dot and a dot and a dot right there. It's all personal preference. I've never worked with like CPU boards before, so this is my first time doing this, but essentially it's the same as like applying any type of adhesive or 3M. All right, so keeping it in mind, a little goes a long way. I'm gonna put Kind of like a H pattern, but with one line. And then I'm going to install the board like so. And then I'm gonna make sure my hands are clean and then apply some light pressure on the corners. All right, this is what the finished product looks like. You guys can see the edges around are pretty even. We did have a little come through right here, but I'll probably clean that up. So if you guys are computer people, don't butcher me on my techniques here. So the same thing. I got some putty down or plaster and now I'm going to apply some light pressure on the module. Again, you guys want to make sure your hands are clean for this. You don't want any oil or contaminants getting on these. Can't wait to uh, plug them in and see what they look like. I'm going to go ahead and do the other module off camera and then I'll catch up with you guys after that. All right, just like that, everything is done. I actually talked to Lucas Dubsest on Instagram and he said with this thermal paste or heat sink plaster, you want to let it dry for a couple hours. So we'll catch up with you guys after that. But in the meantime, if you guys are wondering how to take out your old modules, it's held in by three T20s right here. And then this comes off and then you have two clips that you just have to undo. And yeah, it's super easy. The only thing that you have to do is pop your hood and then and like peel back this weather stripping a few moments later all right it has been a few hours and the thermal paste itself has not set so i being the impatient person that i am went out and did what dub says did and he actually used jb weld so i just went to the hardware store real quick and i got their quick weld it is a quick setting steel reinforced epoxy 
and I think it sets in like six minutes or so like it basically hardens it says the full cure time is like a couple hours but once it hardens it's not going to be moving as much as this thermal paste does so yeah I'm going to take these modules back off clean them up prep the surface and then we're going to mix up our JB weld I'm going to do this all off camera and then I'll catch up with you guys once we are ready to install the modules back into the car all right do you guys a favor and use this instead of the uh, thermal plaster that I used let me show you guys why right here I'm putting a bunch of pressure on this and it's only been like I think three minutes or five minutes since I've actually applied the JB weld and these things are on solid like there's no play no movement so what we're gonna be doing now is finally installing them on the car and then we're gonna show you guys what they look like all right both modules are back in let's go ahead turn off the lights for you guys I'm gonna have to turn the lights on manually in three two yo you guys see the yellow glare here we go first reaction in three two one damn those are legit yellow no amber no white and yellow those are legit yellow like lemon yellow <laughs> definitely like csl style or m4 cs vibes let's go ahead take a look at the other side it looks so so mean <laughs> yellow and black always go good together and this is just crazy like icon headlights that are just straight yellow all right this is what they look like with the uh, headlights fully on i was talking to dubsess and he said he loves running it like this dude it looks so crazy this is such a switch up i'm so used to the white and i actually really do like the yellow and we can always go back to the white if we really wanted to all right it's the next day we just pulled the f80 out for the first time <laughs> yo i don't know if it's actually gonna like translate well on camera how yellow they actually are i think on camera like it doesn't show how yellow they really are but they're really really yellow <laughs> and they look crazy obviously it would look better in like a more shadowed area but you guys can see the difference right there yo that looks tough hell yeah Aston, what do you think about the new headlights and i'll tell you guys this right now the lights look so much better obviously in darkness and inside so let's go ahead and turn off the garage light for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like at night Aston sniffing <laughs> the car but check this out this shit looks hard af <laughs> it reminds me of like black panther vibes or like batman legit oh but check these out man they look so crazy camera pictures don't do it justice garage lighting looks fucking sick but yeah these turned out incredible Definitely recommend them. These are a trial kind of from the supplier, so I'm gonna probably run them for about a month. And then if you guys want the link for them, I'll probably send it to you around then. But I do wanna test these out alongside Dubsess. He said he wants to do the same, try them out. We don't want to refer anybody uh, to something that is an inferior product, of course. So we're gonna test these out for a while. And then I'll let you guys know, of course, via YouTube or Instagram, where you guys can purchase your own in time. But yeah, freaking love it. Comment down below what you guys think. The man cave is looking Hella sick right now. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, YouTube, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm definitely gonna be getting some more content with the uh, new yellow DRL this week. I can't wait to see them at night as well. But as I mentioned before, we are testing these out and we'll let you guys know very shortly, whether it be on Instagram or via YouTube, uh, where you guys can buy this yourself. I wanna test them out as well and see how they run, make sure there's no defects or anything like that. But I absolutely love the yellow. It's super different and it looks amazing, you know, in dark lighting. But as always, make sure you guys drop a like, comment down below what you guys think, subscribe for future content, turn on the bell notification, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, peace.